If you clicked on this video, it's because you're having a fly problem, whether it's fruit flies or just the ugly old horse style flies. Either way, it sucks. Your customers hate it, your health inspector hates it, and they are a pain in the butt to get rid of. I've been there. I'm gonna tell you everything I know about getting rid of flies. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Restaurant Ninjas. My name is Matt and let's talk about flies because that's a fun topic. Now I sat down and I jotted down all my thoughts here so it's gonna be super well organized on my ratty looking piece of paper. So let's get through this. First of all, air curtain on your back door. This sounds kind of crazy, but if you don't know what it is, it is a curtain of air. <laughs> so that whenever you open the back door, it presses down air, like blows down so that flies can't fly in. Now it's not 100% effective, but it works really well. And you can't keep your back door closed if you're opening it to go out of it. Even that split second matters. So look into getting an air curtain installed. They're a couple of hundred dollars, but it's well worth the investment. Next up, fly strips. They're ugly, you can't do them when you're open, but if you hang them at night and get rid of them before you open the next day, they are effective at getting rid of some of the bigger flies. Next tip, get floor cleaner that is specifically made to treat for flies. So what it does is it kills any larva and it actually leaves a chemical coating on the floor so that any fly larva, which is eggs, that are laid automatically die. I've actually used this stuff highly like watered down to wipe down counter countertops or to throw down the soda machine drain or wipe out the soda machine drain because that thing gets nasty really quickly. Speaking of the soda machine, make sure that you're washing your nozzles every night. Soaking them really doesn't do anything. All it does is loosen the dirt. If you don't actually wash them, it doesn't help. Put them through the dish machine every single night. Why not? Then sanitize them, let them air dry, put them back together. Wipe out the inside of the nozzles too because that's where the sugar sits. Say that 10 times fast. Woo. This one's gonna suck, but you gotta have grout on your floor. So if you don't know what grout is, it is the, I don't know, material, I guess is the word, that goes in between your tiles that is usually white, but usually turns brown or gray from dirt. It wears away over time. As it wears away, the water sits there leaving free standing piles of water that don't come up with a mop. And by piles, of course, I mean just tiny little bits. That's enough for flies to feed off of. So if your grout is missing or if your grout is low and it does wear away over time, you're gonna have to get it upgraded. Make sure you vet whoever's doing it really well. I've had people update my grout for me and I pay thousands of dollars and it would literally be gone after a couple of floor cleanings with the power washer. What I actually have learned is that it needs to be acid washed first and then you used need to use a latex based grout and it should last you for about five years if they do it correctly and they dry it. I've actually seen guys bring in a heat gun to dry it as they go, and that has been the only way where it actually stays in place. Speaking of the water and grout, you can't have standing water anywhere. So if there's a mess, clean it up right away. If you have a recessed area in your floor where water runs to, either get it fixed or make sure it stays dry. Speaking of keeping your floor dry, those air dryers that are close to $200, you can pick them up from Lowe's or the restaurant store, Ed Don, wherever you get your small wares. Stick that in your dish room and just leave it on. The electric cost is not crazy. It's gonna probably cost you in the area of five to $10 a month and it'll keep your floor nice and dry. So helps with flies, helps with injuries. Boom, we're getting towards the bottom of the list here. Okay, next up, your drains. This one's the obvious one, right? You probably think I'd start there. Clean your drains every night. So a couple things with the drains. Get a long drain brush like this. Keep it hanging in your mop sink and just take it down your drains every single night. What I've always done as soon as I take over a restaurant is I actually take the drain covers and I remove the screws and I get rid of them. I like my drain covers to sit in the drain so that I can remove them easily without having to get a drill each time. The cool thing about this is as part of nightly cleaning, they get removed, they get sent through the dish machine and you take a uh, paddle brush and you scrub out the top of the drain, which if you do it every night takes about five seconds per drain and it will really help with the flies a lot. Now you can use different chemicals to go down the drain, the floor cleaner that I mentioned. They make the little tablets that go and get diluted in water that looks like, you, you ever have seen them? They look like condoms almost in the packet. Throw it in, dilute it with water, throw it down your drains. That works really well. So does just plain old bleach to be honest. The key is consistency. All right, what do we got left here? Bars, if you're running a bar, make sure your taps are clean and cover your liquor bottles. Whether it's with little Dixie cups, they make specialized covers just for them. This has always been a problem for me. When I was running bars, I haven't ran a bar in probably 10 or 15 years now. Ugh, I couldn't deal with the flies, it drove me nuts. I was like Captain Clean with the bleach. Bleach, 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 bleach. And you can't really do that in a public area. So that's what I did every night after everybody left. Keep it clean, 
bleach down your drains regularly, use the different chemical tablets you have, and make sure you're covering your liquor. Your beer nozzles on your uh, dispensers, those are another thing you gotta keep really clean. And last but not least, again, this one's common sense, but I'm gonna say it, eliminate the food source. If it's a dirty restaurant, you're gonna have flies because they have a reason to come in. If you can eliminate the food source, that is literally like three quarters of the problem right there. If you follow all of these steps, I guarantee you will not have a fly issue. Good luck. And remember, it is a beautiful day to be alive.